Magda comes here with a heavy heart. A synagogue without people or prayers. As the elected head of the Jewish community, Magda considers herself the guardian of the Jewish legacy in Egypt. These ancient scriptures are just one example of the cultural and religious heritage she fears will be lost forever. Well, we are dying, we are drowning, we are going, we are finished. It's my first duty is to take care of the, of the human beings, the old ladies which have no family, uh, uh, or alone. This is my first duty and my second duty and most important one is these things that will never die. In a home for the elderly in Cairo, we met Lucy, one of only 12 Jews still living in Egypt. All her family members and relatives are dead. None of them thought about leaving Egypt and neither did she. I had friends here. I used to play football with my neighbors. I had a nice life. It's my home. Why should I leave? In the headquarters of the Jewish community in Cairo, there are relics of happier times. There were around 100,000 Jews in Egypt. Most of them were forced to leave in the 50s and 60s. Egypt was at war with Israel and the government suspected many of them of being spies. This is the Jewish quarter downtown Cairo. More than 100 years ago, a lot of poor Jews used to live here. Most of them were low-wage workers. There were also Muslims and Christians. Today, the place is more crowded, but less diverse. Nothing remained of the once Jewish community, but a couple of closed synagogues down this narrow street. For the remaining Jews, this is their last resting place, a 1,000-year-old Jewish cemetery, now surrounded by slums. Magda's father is buried here. She cries out of grief for herself and for her community's lost future. Sally Nabil, BBC News, Cairo.